Welcome to this week's session of Putnam County District Library, the Guiding Ohio Online Grant. This week we are looking at how you can go about making a QR code. The QR code, when you click here onto the next screen, is um, the image that you see up there in the right hand corner. And actually what a QR code is a type of um, a matrix barcode that was invented in 1994 by the Japanese automotive company Denso Wave. And these barcodes are readable, especially by phones. And it's the reason I kind of wanted to show this this week was because this is something that's been become very common, especially when you're going into restaurants and so forth. But there's something that are really very simple that anyone can make. So if you go to www.qrstuff.com, that's a location where you can actually make your own QR um, code and it you can do that for free. So I'm going to show you here. I've got on the next page here, I have qrstuff.com's website. Now I am making this based upon a website URL. And then I am going to go down here to step number two, where I actually put in the web address. And I am going to put in www. Um, I'm going to put in mypcdl. Got it right back over here. If you want, the easiest way is to, if you click on a site like this, you can see how you could just copy this and I could paste this in here and then I would know that I'm not making any mistakes with that because it does not have the www. So I've got mypcld.org. And then the third step is actually with the style. Now, what I'm going to tell you is, is that anytime you want to do any of these extras with either the style or a template, you can do that by going up here and registering. But I will show you here. If I click on register here, what's going to happen is, is it's going to take me out and I would have to pay. And I'm, I just want to be able to do this quote for free. So I'm not going to do that. And I'm just going to go back to the next screen here where I was at. And I'm going to skip over this with this um, step number three, since that's what, if I were to try that, it would make me want to have to be a membership and pay. And then I'm just going to go down here to print your QR code. And by going to print, or I could actually email it if I wanted, but if I go to print your QR code, it's going to give me these options here. And I can then pick the style that I might want to have. Now notice that this is the paper size in terms of the United States and Canada. So I would want to pick something here across this first um, line. I'm just going to simply click here and then what will happen is I make that choice and I go down and I say download and it's going to come up here down at the bottom of my screen. You can see that it actually um, downloaded to my machine. I click on this and now I have my barcodes. So when you're going into restaurants and some of these places now anymore, when they're not, where they're not handing you an actual menu or um, information, you can just simply scan this then. So if you have any type of a smartphone, if you were to take your smartphone right now and you either use a QR reader or if you're using um, most phones anymore, you can just like simply go to the photo app. And if you take that right now and you were to scan that with your phone, it will open up to the Putnam County District Library. So that is this week's session, and I hope that um, you find this useful, and I will see you next week when we look at our next training session. Hope everyone has a good week.